guys, it's a proud cat lover, and today I'm making an update on my beta sunset. So his tail is getting a lot better, as you can see. If you watch my all pets update, which I just uploaded a week ago or so, you'll see the difference in his tail versus then versus now. So I definitely think the medicine's been helping. There are a couple new residents in this tank. One, sadly, I'm probably going to have to adopt out, which is back here. So I bought a couple algae eaters to take care of the algae problem because they had gotten so bad. Like in the update, there was like a couple black spots on this rock, but there was algae covering all these plants here in the corners. It was covering the entire rock. It was in the gravel. It was disgusting. That snail was pretty much a freeloader. He was doing nothing to benefit getting rid of the algae in the tank. So I got a couple algae eaters thinking, you know, that they could take care of it. They got rid of all the algae in one night. Here's the problem though, one of the algae eaters has claimed this house and this as his home and he has kicked the other one out. So this one still tries to go in here when the other one's outside of it, but otherwise he gets chased by the other one and I don't think that he's like hurting him, but he's pretty much bullying him to where he cannot come in the hide. All he gets is just to hide over here and even sometimes when he's in that corner it'll come over, the other one will and just chase him. And so I'm going to have to adopt him out to somebody who has a freshwater tank that can take care of him. Here's the bully one. And as you can see, he guards this one. He'll come and he'll sit right at that door and then he'll come down here and he'll peek out this door and then he'll come down here and peek out this door. He'll swim around and he'll like clean everything and then he'll go back in there. And if this one's anywhere close to the house, he just chases it. And so it's really frustrating that I get some cleaner fish and then one of them decides to be territorial because I can't upgrade this tank because I like having this spot here for my cats to be able to look out of the window um, and I wasn't really originally thinking about upgrading a 10 gallon at the moment in the first place um, just because this um, storage deal here really isn't the most sturdy thing to have something that heavy I mean I understand a 10 gallon is not that heavy but um this thing's kind of junky. It's not real wood. It's like melamine or something. And it's not as sturdy, so I really don't trust this with having a 10-gallon full tank on it. Um, so the only reason I even trusted it with a 5-gallon is because it's got these supports and this stuff under it. But I still don't trust it just because, like, some stuff has broken really easy. Like, this here cracked just from what used to be in this storage container before it was beanies. So... I don't trust this deal to hold a 10 gallon tank. So if I were to get something like that was metal um, or a solid wood stand, then that'd be different. But I wasn't really planning on trying to upgrade a tank at the moment. And so I'm kind of disappointed that the algae eaters cannot get along and share the tank. Instead, that one just is super territorial of this hide that he stays in all the time. And even though the other one has different places to hide outside of it, and the beta does not bother either of them. Still, like any time this guy decides to, he just chases the other one around the tank and all my plants keep floating out. So, but pretty much this is just an update, even though I was kind of, you know, talking a lot there for a second about the algae eaters. But um, I'm going to add a clip at the end because I finally got a video of Sunset leaping out of the water while he was eating. And it is the funniest thing. He looks like Free Willy, to be honest. It's really funny. But he just kind of goes, whoop, and then splashes back in, like, kind of sideways. But um, it's only, like, seven seconds long because, obviously, he's just jumping out of the water real quick. But um, I just want to update you guys and let you know that he is definitely getting better. I don't know if it was the treatment that was for the tail rot or if it was the combination of the barley extract and the aquarium salt that I've been giving him, which the aquarium salt I only put in if I do almost a complete water change because they say unless you're doing unless I'm doing like you know taking out a gallon or more then I don't put any salt in when I just do a small water add like if I'm adding water to top it off to up here I don't add salt or anything um the barley extract um I only add every one to two weeks because that's what it says to do on the bottle and I just put in like three or four drops instead of a whole teaspoon just because I don't want to overdose it. Even though it says you can add that amount every time, I don't want to just because I'm a little weary and stuff. So I only add a certain amount. So anyway, and then of course this is the new food that I got for the algae eaters. And they've been enjoying those so far. 
So anyway, guys, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed. I hope this wasn't too long. <laughs> anyway, thanks for watching and have a good rest of your day.